Now, aluminum is actually a very reactive metal, but in everyday life, it doesn't corrode that easily because it's always covered by a thin aluminum oxide layer. Think of it as aluminum's invisible armor. Gallium's superpower is that it can penetrate or disrupt this oxide coating. Now, when we send it the can or the metal piece, we gave gallium a way in. Once the gallium is in contact with the bare aluminum, it prevents the aluminum from healing its oxide layer. It's like gallium pulls off the aluminum's armor and we won't let it put back the armor. Now, inside aluminum, atoms are arranged in an orderly crystal structure. This is why aluminum is strong yet lightweight. Gallium behaves like an unwanted guest at the party. It wedges itself between the aluminum atoms, especially at grain boundaries, and messes up that orderly structure. Now, scientists call this gallium-induced uh, structural failure or a type of liquid metal embrittlement. Essentially, gallium makes the flexible ductile aluminum turn brittle. Imagine turning a flexible rubber hose into a dry twig. And that is literally what happens on a microscopic scale. When you try to bend or stress the gallium-treated aluminum, it just cracks and breaks instead of flexing. Now, it is important to mention that the gallium weakening the aluminum isn't a violent chemical reaction. There is no fire, no boom, and the two metals don't release toxic fumes or anything. It's more of a physical infiltration. Gallium just moves into the aluminum structure quietly and then bang! The aluminum loses its strength. It's a bit sneaky. You don't see a lot of bubbling or heat. The aluminum just gradually falls apart as we saw with the experiments with the can and the hole.